Today I'm going to inform you about Paul Robinson, a famous singer and athlete, among other things, and the Freedom Corps Rides, an important protest during the Civil Rights Movement. Paul Robinson was born April 9, 1898. Paul Robinson was a prominent African-American singer, athlete, and actor, and advocate for civil rights, rising to prominence while segregation was legal in the United States. He used his baritone singing voice to promote the cultures of other countries and benefit the labor and social movements of his time. He sang in 25 different languages throughout the U.S., Europe, the Soviet Union, and Africa. He was widely spread and one of the most influential people of his time. Robinson married Islanda Cordoza Brood, who became the first black woman to head of a theology library tour. Paul Robinson was involved in the Broadway production of Showboat, renowned for the singing of Old Man River, which soon became his signature song. The beloved international speaker supported Pan-Africanism, sang for loyalist soldiers during Spain's Civil War, and performed in anti-Nazi demonstrations. Robinson and the USSR's relationship is quite controversial. His humanitarian trust contrasted with the mass killings forced by Joseph Stalin. He was essential to the civil rights movement because he rose to popularity not just among colored people, but among whites as well during a time when blacks were still being oppressed greatly. Paul Robinson passed away on January 23, 1976. Another topic that is very important to the civil rights movement was the Freedom Corps Rides. During the spring of 1961, student activists from the Congress of Racial Equality, or CORE, started the Freedom Rides to challenge the segregation of buses. They rode on buses from Washington, D.C. to Jackson, Mississippi. The riders were met with violent opposition in the Deep South, which eventually forced federal intervention from the JFK administration. The riders succeeded in securing a ban of all public transport it strengthened tensions between students and MLK who supported the riders but did not participate in the campaign. The Freedom Rides were conceived in 1947 when Corps organized a bus ride across state lines to test the Supreme Court ruling that segregation on interstate bus rides was unconstitutional. The first rides challenged segregation in the upper parts of the South and they faced little opposition which caused for little media coverage because they avoided the Deep South which defeated the point of the rides. They then proceeded to ride all the way from Washington, D.C. to Mississippi, which is the Deep South. Both Paul Robinson and the Freedom Corps rides were important to the civil rights movement in the long run.